Hello, you're watching Impact. I'm Ben Brown, live here in the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. Our headlines. Russia cuts gas supplies to Poland and Bulgaria after they refuse to pay in rubles. The European Union accuses Moscow of blackmail. Today, the Kremlin failed once again in his attempt to sow division among member states. The era of Russian fossil fuel in Europe is coming to an end. And I'm Kasia Madeira in London. A military court in Myanmar finds the deposed leader Aung San Suu Kyi guilty of corruption and sentences her to five years in jail. Also coming up, Shanghai's month-long COVID lockdown drags on. We'll be speaking to one resident in the city of 25 million people. And Washington prepares to celebrate the life of the former US Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, at her funeral in just a few hours' time. That's all coming up right here on Impact. Hello from Kiev and welcome to BBC World News. Well, in a further wider escalation of the conflict here in Ukraine, Russia has now cut off gas supplies to Poland and Bulgaria. They had refused a demand that payment should be made in the Russian currency, the ruble. Uh, both countries rely heavily on Russian gas, but they insist they will be able to cope. Well, the European Union has accused Russia of blackmail. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said the move is unjustified and unacceptable. Let's take a closer look for you now then at Russian supplies to Europe. Europe currently gets around 40% of its gas from Russia. The Polish state gas company bought 53% of its gas imports from the Russian gas company Gazprom in the first quarter of this year. Bulgaria relies on Gazprom for more than 90% of its gas the Bulgarian Prime Minister has described this move today by the Kremlin as a grave breach of a current contract. But the country's government says it has taken steps to find alternative energy sources. Let's start our coverage now with a report from our Moscow correspondent, Jenny Hill.